Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to set up your PlayStation 5 console. Now this is the PlayStation 5 Slim console, but if you have the original console, the process should be pretty much exactly the same. We'll start out with all the cabling and then we'll jump over to the on-screen setup. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So let's dive into the wiring of the PlayStation 5. First off, I do wanna mention if you've got the Slim, you will need to attach the little feet on the console and those go in on the bottom here. There's a little crack here and there's holes in there and you can just line them up and slide them in. This is so your console is level and can sit on a desk horizontally. So we'll lay that down there now and now it's nice and stable like that. So there are several cables that came in the box. So there's three of them. This one here is a USB-C to USB-C. That is for your controller. We'll get to that in a moment. And we've got our HDMI cable that looks like that, as well as our power cable. Of course, that plugs into the wall. Now those all came in the packaging. If you are wanting to hardwire your console, this did not come with it. You'll need an ethernet cable as well. We are doing a wireless connection, so I won't be using this, but I will show you where it plugs in. So let's go ahead and make our connections on the back here. First off, our power cable that looks like that goes right here, so we'll plug that in, just like that. Our HDMI cable goes right here. We can plug that in like that. And again, if we are using a wired internet connection with an ethernet cable like that, this again does not come with the console. That goes right here where it says LAN, and we can plug that in just like that. So let's go ahead and make our connections. The HDMI port gets plugged into the HDMI port on the back of your television. And of course your power plug gets plugged into your power bar or into the wall. And then again, if you're using the ethernet connection, you can go ahead and plug that into your router, but we're gonna be doing this wirelessly today. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and unplug that because we won't be using it. Now that it's all plugged in, we can go ahead and push the power button here on the front and turn it on. And on the screen, it's showing us to plug in our controller to the console. So we'll grab our USB-C to USB-C cable here and we'll plug in our controller and plug that into our console. And then on our controller, it wants us to push the PlayStation button right here. So we'll go ahead and hold that down and it's gonna jump right into selecting our language. And we can use our controller here to select our language. I'll select English, United States. We'll hit the X button on our controller Continue with the screen reader turned on. So you can go ahead and actually turn that on or off. I'm gonna turn it off because it will read out loud. You can go ahead and connect to your network here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then we can put in our password. And once you've done that, just head on down to the bottom here where the done is, or you can hit R2. That'll take you to the next thing. Go ahead and hit okay and it's gonna start connecting to the internet. And again, we're doing the wireless connection here, not the wired connection. From here, it's asking us to adjust our display and we can easily do that with up and down here on our controller. So if we hold it down, it gets really small. We wanna make sure that lines up with the edge of our screen. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK or X. It's gonna give us different options for how much power it uses. So there's the optimized experience, which automatically um, gives you the latest updates, turns on remotely when you connect to it using remote play and charges controllers in rest mode. You've also got a low power usage, which is gonna be the lowest power option. And then it's gonna give you a custom option as well. I'm gonna do the optimized experience here. So we'll just hit X on that and then we'll hit OK. It'll give you the software license agreement here that you can actually go through and read. And once you've done that, just head on over to I agree, and then you can confirm that. Disk drive, your disk drive is connected to your PS5. To use your disk drive, register it to your PS5. So we're gonna go ahead and hit OK here. It's registering my disk drive. You can now use your drive. We'll hit okay. 
insert a game. If you have a game disc, insert it now and we'll install it while you continue with the setup. I don't have a disc at this moment, so we'll hit continue without disc. Now it's asking you to sign into your PlayStation account so you can scan the QR code. You can sign in manually or you can create an account if you don't have one. I actually have one already or you can do this later. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in manually and I'll enter in my information here. And once you've got your email and password in there or you've created a new account, we'll just go ahead and hit sign in. Say please wait. It's going to ask you how you'd like to secure your account. So if you'd like to add a pin here, you can do that and you can enter your pin or you can just leave it blank and not use a pin for logging in. You can also add that it requires a password to check out if you're buying games, that sort of thing. I'm going to skip those for myself. We'll hit OK. It says transfer data from another console. So if you have an older PS4 or PS5 that you'd like to transfer data from, you can do that. I don't have one to transfer that from, so I'm not gonna transfer the data. You can do this later as well. So if you're not gonna do that, go ahead and hit do this later. Welcome to PlayStation 5. And there you go, our PlayStation 5 is all set up. If you go to the top here and select games, this is where you can sign up for things like the PlayStation Plus membership, or go to the PlayStation Store where you can purchase games or there's even free games and demos in here as well. And you can also go across to the other side here and this is where you're gonna find your game library where all of your games are located. If you go back to the top, you can head over to media here and this is where you'll find streaming services like Disney, Netflix, Prime TV, etc. And at the very top here as well, this is where your settings are located if you do need to change any of those. So if this tutorial helped you get your PlayStation 5 all set up, if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.